Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. So reads the inscription at the base of the Statue of Liberty. For 200 years, people from all over the world have immigrated to America. But why here? The United States is plagued with government corruption, war, poverty, crime, terrorism, pollution, and neglect. In short, America is far from perfect. So why then, if this country has gone so wrong, do 1.3 million people immigrate here every year? Why this country? With all our flaws, why would people risk traveling dangerous seas or crossing forbidding deserts for a chance to make a new life in America? The United States is basically uh, made up of immigrants. I mean, just everybody here who's not Native American has, there's someone in their family has immigrated from another country and come here for a lot of reasons to become property owners. That was, that was one of the major focuses because in Europe you couldn't own property unless you were a noble. So the whole idea of coming here to own property, to own your own farm, uh, to make your own fortune, you know, kind of lured people away from their home countries. The reason my family came to the United States was he was in the U.S. Navy at the time and he left on a large uh, ship with a bunch of other Chinese uh, Navy servicemen um, after the war and uh, was uh, sent to the United States and to, um, to live and uh, they were granted under a special congressional act citizenship. Well, the main reason why I came to the United States was that I met a young lady at the time in Lisbon, Portugal, because you know, one thing led to the other, and I thought, you know, I'm not going to stay here, uh, because she was leaving. She was leaving Portugal, and so I made one of those snappy decisions, you know, I was going to get married and be with her, and the only way to do that was if I followed her to the United States. So well, I, I came to the United States just one day. Uh, the person I met who uh, get, getting married is American, so that's the only reason I came here. Well, the reason that my family came to the U.S. is basically to have a better life because they've heard lots of really cool stories about how the U.S. is such a great country, how everyone there is rich and the life is easy. So. We wanted to move there. I came to the United States by myself. Uh, that was 1979, January. Um, I practiced the Aikido, and then I met a lot of students from different countries. But back then, I couldn't speak much English. So first thing, I wanted to speak English. That's the reason. And then also, I was reading a lot of uh, women's liberation thing. And then I was very interested in the like, people in Boston. Why I came to the United States um, is because basically I got married like two and a half years ago and my husband is an American citizen and he works in San Diego and naturally I had to relocate to be with him. I came here through the ODP, the Orderly Departure Program. And um, before, we came, I came here by plane and then I stay in the uh, in the Philippine refugee camp for six months. That's where they gave us the orientation about how life would be in America. And so um, it was a camp and then um, it was run by uh, the United States, but it was in the Philippines. And then, but before, before I came here by plane, I did try, I did try <laughs> to, to take the boat, to be like the boat people, but it didn't work out. And I was, um, I was in jail like for a few months. <laughs> the communists took over Saigon in 1975 and we didn't get to the U.S. until 10 years later, 1985. And why did we come here? Because I th for my family, we came here mostly because of 
because of political reasons. It's to the point where there is so little opportunity in their own country that, or in their own countries, that um, they're willing to come here illegally and, and take a great deal of risks and, um, you know, going through the desert, it's 112 in the middle of the summer with, without water, or coming over the mountains in the winter. Um, when it might snow, it might not, but certainly it's going to be below freezing. And we had an unusual situation, a large group of Chinese during the last year or so of the war, they were captured and sent to a Japanese prisoner war camp in the Philippines, along with Filipino prisoners and U.S. prisoners, and they were in segregated camps. And then uh, at that time, my father, he was the manager of a factory, a shoe factory. And then, uh, so the communists took over that factory, and then they put him in jail. And I remember the first day, the time they came to our house. And uh, at that time, I was home. My mom was home. It was like they, they knocked on the door one day, and then they didn't allow him to take anything, just a shirt. And, and so they took him away. And then they searched the whole house upside down. And nobody could get out of the house, and nobody could get into the in, inside the house. So they, they took the flower pots and everything, looking for gold. So he stayed, and he kept saying that uh, I was just a businessman, and not, I was not involved in politics. So the communists, they will leave me alone. But he was wrong. And, and the people that came, even though they were doing the hard work, those early immigrants found that as they stayed and as their children got educated and went to school, that there was an enormous opportunity for, for either themselves or for their children. So the difference here is that you can focus on what you want to be, walk towards it, and chances are you will make it. You know, you have the same opportunity as anybody else. But at home, most often, you just have to look at opportunities that are available and then walk towards it. It might not really be what you have passion for. So that's the difference. Because life in Japan, people are watching all the time, constantly, and then we are watching each other so close. But here, no one is paying attention to you. <laughs> so I like that freedom. And you can do as you decide. I do believe the United States has a freedom and the opportunity. And if you put the mind to it and work hard, there is a um, there is the opportunity for that person. For example, in Japan, I won't have the same opportunity as here. So in a way, um, I'm grateful to be here to be able to do what I want to do. Realize the American dream that if you come in and work hard and, and save your money and, and invest in property, that you can become rich in this country. It's, you know, it's, it's not that difficult to do. Um, and I think that for as long as people see that particular type of, um, of opportunity, that people are going to continue to immigrate to the United States. They're really coming for their children and for their children to have a better life, which is really what all parents want, I think. Regardless of its flaws, America is a powerful attraction to people from around the world. They travel here not only for themselves, but for the next generation.